When we start a project, um, I think especially with the games, it's it's a it's a hard thing to kind of fully understand the size of it and uh, the complexity of it because it's it's something that you have to live and breathe. Games are just the same as films. You start off with stills or uh, the actual artwork that's drawn inspiration to them. Getting the same information as a film about the characters and their background and the colours of the game and the general this feel of it is how normally it starts. But it instantly sort of transpired that this was slightly more ambitious and this was slightly more interesting than other things we had looked at in the past. The, the way you tackle any of these things, you really try to know the life story of your character. And I, and I think that's why, you know, especially this game is so interesting because it is, you know, people ask, is it a film or is it a game? And there is no difference, not to me. You could sit there and watch it as a film. So, so the way of trying to musically tell a story is the same process. My first uh, meeting with David was when the themes were being presented to him. I don't know about you, but I find it very scary when you've put uh, you know, your heart and soul into writing a piece of music that that this person has been writing this character for years and all of a sudden I've been invited into this world and, and, and been there for like a month and I'm now trying to say, well, this is this person's character. <laughs> the Ellen Page character to David, you know, is very personal. And, it's, um, and he's lived and breathed the development of that character. And like, I, the same, I'm sure, as if it had been a film, but with this game, it's, it's very personal. Look, this is what all good filmmakers have in common. Um, they have a vision of what they want to do, and they tell you about this vision. And as they tell me about the vision, I try to think, what is, the, what is it that they can't tell me? What is it that they can't do? What is it that they can't say elegantly in words or pictures? Or, um, and what is it that I can sort of bring to the party that is just going to knock their socks off and surprise them? And a good filmmaker will always let you do that. If you look at the, um, like the Three Dark Knight movies that, uh, that we did with Chris, um, we really, like each one, we put everything in, all of us. Um, and went, okay, that's it, you know, th th can't possibly do another one. And then somebody would come up with like, well, maybe what if? <laughs> I do try to create an environment around me that lets people tell me their worst ideas, you know, because they're usually their most secret and private and most precious ideas and something cool will come from it. As games develop, as, as th this new art form develops, um, we can become more cinematic. And as we become more cinematic, we can actually go and surpass what we have in the cinema. And I think that's, that's interesting because one of, one of the reasons I really enjoy the whole gaming world is because we are looking for that next thing which we can become immersive, that can involve us, that can really, in a, in a way, be, go beyond entertainment. What annoys a lot of gamers sometimes is constant themes being used all the time. Because unlike a film, uh, that your experience is an hour and a half, but with this game, some people sit there for five, six hours, and uh, they, they, you don't want to kill them with, with this theme that keeps appearing all the time. So I think what the challenge with this game was to try to figure out a way of um, musically telling a story and having development of the characters, but not necessarily uh, become it, be, make it be repetitive. You know, the thing is, is that unlike a film, the only time you actually fully understand, I think, with music, what we've managed to actually do is when 
you have the time to sit and play the game because we don't fully uh, understand how much, you know, how it really will work out, and especially with this game because you're choosing different decisions constantly. Unlike some of the other games that we've worked on, you have a very clear vision of what the end story is. And with this, it's just so exciting because the story changes. So the music experience changes. So if Hans plays it tomorrow, he'll have a different experience musically and game-wise than I will. So it, it's always going to keep changing. Station.